hey guys welcome to another budget closeout so in today's video i'll be sharing with you the september 2021 budget closeout Hey guys, welcome to Budget with a July Dreamer. My name is Miranda and on this channel I share all things personal finance, specifically sharing tips on how to save, how to invest as well as how to budget. If these topics interest you then please hit that like button as well as subscribe to this channel. So as I mentioned in today's video I'll be sharing with you my September 2021 budget closeout videos. In these videos I typically walk you through what I had budgeted, what I'd actually spent and any money moves that I made in the ended month. So I will be looking over here because this is where I have my laptop and I will walk you through all of the expenditures that I had for the month of September so let's get right into the video so I'll start screen record and I'll move over to the tracker so for those of you who have been watching my videos uh, you will notice you will remember that I have actually mentioned this time and again that I've blocked off my income sources and you know expected actual income for privacy reasons but I do share with you the total so for the month of September I had said I was expecting to work with 4,500 this is my baseline so this is um, if I was going to get less from my employer less from my other sources this is the baseline that I have and then for the month of September itself I actually ended up um, getting six thousand eight hundred and twenty eight and three pence so that's how much I had to work with which is a surplus of two thousand three hundred and twenty eight and three pence so moving over to my next bucket which is savings I call this section pay yourself first because I believe in paying myself first before I cater to the bills and um uh, let life leave me so yeah so for savings i had planned to um save 1000 pounds towards my emergency fund i was actually able to put 1770 and 27 pence and this is actually split in um categories i have notes on there so i put 1500 towards my emergency fund and then the rest went uh, um i believe 100 went towards my travel fund 100 went towards my fund fund and then the rest went to my um general investments account so the savings that uh my plum uh app rounds up for me so that's where that went so that made up 26 percent of my total income investment contributions i thought i was going to work with 600 pounds i actually just ended up working with 513 and 57 pence which is eight percent um month ahead i got a question on month ahead and what i mean by this same thing month ahead carry over money what i mean by this and this is just so when i get paid in september as was the case a few weeks ago i got paid i mapped out all of my bills so i mapped out my pay or so first so i removed that money then i mapped out all the bills that i needed to pay in the month of september then obviously put that to one side then what's left is my month ahead because that's the money i'll carry over into the next month because yesterday was um september 30th today is the first of october and i have almost 90 percent of my bills coming out on the first of october so i and i get paid in the middle of the month so i make sure i keep that money for the month ahead and that's how i view it at least so i never plan anything for it but i do know that i have to have a an amount that I carry over it's just that I never know so I know for sure that I have to have at least 1300 that I will need to spend on the first day of the month to go towards my bills but that's not always the case that that's how much I'm gonna take over like you can see I carried over 1717 and 23 pence so this is how much I actually went into the month of October with which is today October 1st and that is 25% of my total income that I received then another thing that you will notice is that I actually started a savings challenge all by myself uh, the, I call it the 100 days savings challenge so I started this a couple of days ago when I realized that we only had 100 days left in 2021 and what I've decided to do with this savings challenge is this essentially save the last two digits of whatever is in my current accounts i have three current accounts so well four but one is business so i kind of go into those three whatever is the roundup is i just move that money over into this uh 100 days service um account well it's a pot in my monzo account and i save it there so for the month of september i only like i said i only started i think it was the 23rd 
for the 27th of September I can't remember but one of those days and I was able to add in eight pounds and 89 and this is a combination of small little increments so I started off with one pound 17 then 66 pence then 96 pence one pence and all of that just so it all added up to eight pounds 89 so with respect to total savings, I thought I was going to put 1,600, but I ended up putting 4,009 and 96 pence. So if we actually remove the month ahead, I actually saved 2,297 and 73 pence. But we keep the month ahead because it is money that I have saved to use for the future. For the future for me just happens to be today, the 1st of October. So for the month of October, I allocated almost 60% of my total income towards my savings, which is absolutely incredible. My plan, uh, part of my financial strategy is to spend less than 50% uh, percent of my income. So that is my plan. And I have actually and put the rest towards savings and investments. So I'm on the right track that much I know so we're gonna go over to uh, my fixed expenses and these don't change that much but I have uh, one two three four things that I want to share on here so three with respect to the expenses themselves and then one an annotation I want to make at, um, at the bottom so I won't go through each and every single one but I will mention for the first thing I will mention here is my water so I budgeted 35 pounds and they only charged me 24 pounds and I actually logged into my account with my water company and it is somehow it has changed it will be 24 pounds until my next uh, renewal with the contract so I was surprised I don't know why it's dropped but I'm grateful so 24 pounds is what I paid instead of the 35 that I budgeted another thing I wanted to make a mention was the fact that I had budgeted 65 pounds for my car insurance and it was normally 62.39 but my car insurance actually came up for renewal in the month of September I had sinking funds so I emptied my sinking funds for the car maintenance and paid the renewal off for the year I went to a different provider because it was more affordable so I went to them and that's um, how for now until next year September you won't be seeing car insurance as a line item for my fixed expenses because I paid that off completely so I wanted to make a mention of that then I also wanted to make a mention of streaming services I did make a mention of this when I did my mid-month budget check-in so I budgeted 30 pounds but I actually spent 37 pounds and 97 pence this is because I have um netflix and spotify that i pay for monthly my other streaming services i pay for them annually but then i had gotten rid of now tv and now tv is, i believe is part of sky so there are just a couple of uh, sky channels that i like from there and what i wanted to watch wasn't anywhere so i decided to go back to now tv which is 9.99 so i ended up overspending my budget by seven pounds 97 which is fine because uh, paying less in the water um, the water bill meant that I actually had enough to cover uh, the excess for my streaming services so I just wanted to make a mention of that another thing I wanted to make a mention of is the fact that when it comes to my fixed expenses or any any expenses that I have whatever money is left over I always move it towards my savings or if I want I'll keep it for the next month so for the month of September I had um, 22 pounds and 10 pence surplus so even though I overspent in one category I underspent in a lot of them so there was enough for me to actually move the 22 pounds and 10 pence towards my emergency fund this is how I was able to save 1,500 in the month of September towards my emergency fund because all of the uh, remain leftover money from all of my bills I was just moving it there it's small amounts but it does add up and it really did pay up big time so for the month of September I had budgeted to spend 1,725 in fixed expenses I ended up spending 1,772 and 90 pence which is 26 percent of my total income that I had to work with for the month of September then moving over now to my variable expenses so with my variable expenses I have food I always budget 200 pounds but for those of you who've been watching my budget with me videos you will notice that I barely spend above 100 and that has not changed in the month of September which makes me really happy and for the month of September I actually also had um, points with my supermarket so I actually made 
use of them normally i just keep all of the points and use them at christmas you know as extra shopping for food and other bits and bobs for christmas so but this time i decided you know what i'm going to use this instead of just using my my uh, money that i have already set aside for food and instead what i did was i spent 84.93 um and i decided the 115 and seven pence that i had left over that i would actually just send that to my emergency fund i did send the 100 pounds towards my emergency fund and then today on the 1st of october i have sent the remainder 15 or 7 towards my um towards my emergency fund then i have blocked off a mortgage extra repayment because for the last three months i had not been doing that but it, this starts again this month the month of october miscellaneous hey hey yeah anyway i budgeted 150 i ended up spending 163 and 72 pence this is for a number of reasons but i actually was within budget until i decided to download an app i decided to download bumble and pay for the membership oh well we live and we learn so yeah so i went over by 13 pounds and 73 pence I need to cough <coughs> then for eating in and out I budgeted 125 and again I've been really really good with this one because one thing that I noticed was that um when we still had a lot of shops uh closed and we could not go to restaurants and what have you i was doing a lot of takeaway i was ordering in a lot and i needed to curb this because this budget has actually moved from being like 200 pounds to 175 to 150 now i'm at 125 so for the month of september to only spend 58 pounds and 84 has been absolutely incredible like I'm very happy and I'm actually going to start looking at what made me not spend that much on uh, eating out. I know I've been cooking a lot at home, but it's something that I did anyway. It's just that I had more lazy days than days where I was active and wanted to cook. So for the month of September, I spent only 58 pounds and 84 pence, which means that the 66 pounds and 16 pence was sent to my emergency fund again. I spent init I sent initially the 50 pounds because I knew that I wouldn't need all of that money for the month of um September. So for my last transfer Tuesday, that's when I sent that 50 pounds and that left me with 16 pounds 16, which I didn't end up spending anyway. So today on the 1st of October, I have moved that to my emergency fund. Then for shopping, I actually for the first time used all of my shopping money. I budgeted 65 and spent 65. This is because I had to buy uh, an electric toothbrush as recommended by my dentist. Then I can't remember exactly what else I had to buy, but it was an Amazon purchase. And then actually yesterday, one of my fillings fell out. So I ended up having to buy... Um, temporary filling from the pharmacists and just plug it in because i won't see my letters for a while and they don't have any open slots so that's why i ended up um, spending all of the money so i spent 11 pounds 77 for that and it or it meant that i'd used up all my 66, 65 pounds that i had budgeted then fuel i actually this time i'm surprised because we've been having a fuel shortage in the uk so surprised that i had budgeted to spend 60 pounds and i've only topped up my tank once and to be fair i have not actually have had i have not had well i can't speak i haven't had to drive anywhere further than like within my village so it's been I haven't really needed to use my car that often so it's been fine so the 29 pounds that was left over i waited until today to move it to my emergency fund so all of the surplus money that i had in this budget has been moved to my emergency fund or allocated for other things so for variable expenses i had budgeted to spend 600 pounds and i only spent 403 pounds and 50 pence even though in my miscellaneous budgeting i actually overspent this is um 
so important to remember that there are times when you're actually going to overspend in some categories but for me and i don't know about other budgeters but for me when i overspend in one category in the back of my mind i keep a tally and i'll be like okay so i have overspent by 13 pounds 37 in one category so in my case in the miscellaneous category this means that i can maybe save some money in the food category or maybe save some money in my eating in and out category whichever so that i can balance things around so not every month is perfect but you kind of just have to keep uh, your figures in your mind so you're like okay I've overspending eating out so maybe I won't spend so much miscellaneous I've overspending this country maybe I won't spend so much so that things balance out that's how I do it at least so I'll jump over to my um, sinking funds so you will have seen my sinking fund update for the month of September I think I made it live last Sunday but um, what I wanted to share is that after I filmed that and I made it live, I sat down and I realized there's so many changes that I would like to make to my sinking funds. So what I decided to do was to empty all of them and start it again. So what you will notice in my new tracker, which I will share during the mid-month check-in, is that I have actually emptied all of what you can see in here, the amounts that you can see, like my certain, well actually no, my ending balance because that's what is most accurate so i have moved all of this money changed around the categories that i have i haven't replaced any of them i've just categorized them a little bit different and you'll see that in my next um budget catch-up video but for now i will explain to you what happened for the month of september i didn't i budgeted 25 pounds for billions and contents insurance i didn't put anything car maintenance i said i wanted to put 50 pounds i ended up putting 150 because i did have obviously to pay for annual insurance then my car mot came up my car failed the mot because i had broken tail light tail light so i had to uh pay extra for that and then i made a mistake on my a new insurance provider so they charge you like 30 pounds just to make that change i was very vexed by that so i ended up having to pay um for that change so which meant that i now am i am a minus in the car category by 34 pounds and 76 pence i wasn't until they said oh we charge about 30 pounds to make amendments to your policy it was very annoying but it was my fault for that so which meant that i ended up spending 534 pounds and 76 pence then christmas i did not put anything uh, but you will see in the reshuffle that i actually ended up did when i reshuffled everything council tax i didn't do anything disney plus you don't do because it's already fully funded but you will see in my next one the changes i've made gifts gifts was another one where i budgeted 55 and i actually put in 75 but i ended up spending 109 and 46 pence so essentially i started off with 11 pounds then i put in 75 but i still blew the budget by 22 pounds and six pence and this one just uh, i had budgeted everything um up to the last dollar but then um mom was like oh uh, this item that i love is finished and whatever you know i was like you know what why not i have the money it's just that not for that category so i ended up spending but I used my personal buffer and I believe in paying myself back. So for the month of October, when I get paid, I'm going to pay myself back the overpayment that I made. So yeah, so I spent 109 and 46 pence holiday. I budgeted hundred. I spent 84 pounds and uh, two pence. So there's some, I had to make some changes to a trip that I have coming up. So I ended up overspending in this category by 86 pounds and uh, 62 pence it's quite funny i put in 84 but i still overspend anyway uh home um emergency insurance i didn't put anything a uh, home maintenance i budgeted 100 but i put in 50 only but i spent again i overspent well i didn't overspend i spent 123 and one pence but the good thing is that i had 73 pounds and one pence to begin with so it just means i have emptied that fund then for life insurance didn't put anything prime nothing then rental uh maintenance fund i didn't put anything but i did spend 10 pounds 11 and this this when i say spend i mean i move this towards my emergency fund because i realized as much as i want to be saving for the rental property i'm not going to be using my own money i'm going to be using the money that i get from that rental property so this is why i decided to just move this money towards my emergency fund this is what we 
talk about in our transfer tuesday videos when we say find money in your budget i found money in my budget it was a whole 10 pounds 11 pence um tv license i budgeted 15 didn't put anything but i did spend uh 19 pence because i wanted to even things out as crazy as that sounds i wanted to even out because all of the monies that i'd spent and found in my budget i was missing 19 pence to make it an even number for emergency fund so i moved 19 pence i did it and i'm not ashamed so total that i budgeted for the, uh sinking funds was 505 i only was able to put 359 and two pence and but i spent 876 pounds and 53 pence and this was only possible because i already had initially at the start of the month i had 917 and 51 pence in my sinking funds but after all of those expenditures even though i added money to it i'm only left with 400 pounds so at the bottom here you see some personal um spending so i actually decided to add in my personal i had a personal it's a personal emergency of sorts but this time i didn't dip into my emergency fund i just decided to just cash flow it so i spent 250 as you can see this was never budgeted for then another thing came up that i couldn't place anywhere which was 32 pounds 65 so here we go that's what i spent so i ended up spending for personal 282 and 65 pence this was not budgeted for this is something that i just ran um cash flowed um within my budget so i run a zero base budget i started off with six thousand eight hundred and twenty eight and three pence and all of that money six thousand eight hundred and twenty eight and three pence was allocated for and it was all spent as it should have been well spent in the sense that um i allocated it a job that's what zero base budgeting is it every single dollar pence yen pound is allocated a job in your budget and that's what i do so thank you so much for watching my video i hope you found this video um helpful if you did please hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next one